storms all across the country now. The southwest through the Gulf Coast to the mid-Atlantic. That is the storm track during an El Nino year, and we have a moderate El Nino, and these folks that are getting it are going to continue to get it big time. Park City, a little bit of snow, not much, one to three inches in general around the area. Great day for skiing, though. Temperatures were perfect. It was in the 20s and low 30s as a lot of the Olympians are prepping to head up to Vancouver for the Olympics. Okay, well, let me show you where the precipitation is right now. Another weak part of the wave, the split jet stream, is moving through Elko and into western Utah. Few rain and snow showers tonight with maybe an inch on the bench. The secondary part of the storm system and the much more potent part of that storm is in the southern split of the jet stream. And this is a very favorable area for formation of storms during an El Nino. And we definitely have an El Nino. And this storm is going to pound parts of Southern California, Southern Nevada, Southern Utah, and Arizona as temperatures remain on the threshold at about 5,000 feet for accumulating snow. So below 5,000 feet across the south, mainly rain. And there's the storm, there's the flow coming in from the southwest. The main ridge is inching eastward, so as it moves towards Colorado, that opens the door for these storms to pound California. And with the storm energy sliding across the southern part of the state of Utah, the south-facing slopes of the mountains across the south are going to see the greatest snowfall, and that would include Escalante and Boulder and some of those uh, areas near Boulder Mountain as well as uh, Bryce Canyon. Big, big snows coming up for southern Utah. Specifically, I thought I'd highlight a few areas, those southern mountains, between now and Sunday. So it's, it's more than 48 hours. 15 to 30 inches will fall. Highway 89 over the passes, 6 to 12 inches. Highways 14 and 12, anywhere from 15 to 25 inches of snow. And as you can see, even Cedar City, Boulder, and Blanding in the crosshairs. Look at Boulder possible 12 to 18 inches of snow from this storm. Let's highlight the forecast now area by area, starting with Cache Valley, a slight chance for a little rain and snow, maybe an inch, probably less than that. Fog returns next week as temperatures drop back into the 20s. Now, as we forecast for you in Cedar City, I want you to be aware that the potential is for some heavy, wet snow here anywhere from four to eight inches. It's not all going to come at once. In fact, it'll start as rain, then turn to snow, and temperatures will be warm enough that it'll turn to slush, and that's always difficult for traveling if you're going too fast. 33, then 34 in price, a little snow over the weekend. I don't expect much accumulation, but it's been so cold. Anything that falls in Castle Country and the San Rafael Swell and over towards Green River, even into uh, Moab and arches and canyonlands, any snow that falls, at least initially, will be very, very hard to drive on. It's going to be slick and hazardous, but it should warm up enough that it'll be mainly rain around Moab. The Uenta Basin, a little light snow, but because it's been so cold, everything that falls will stick. And then we have fog again next week, and temperatures drop back below zero as they have all winter long. The Wasatch back, this is a two to four inch storm for Park City probably four to eight inches. The southern Wasatch Mountains, the south-facing Uinta Mountains, will see anywhere from four to eight inches. And the Wasatch Back will see temperatures between 30 and 35. 50 in St. George the next two days, periods of rain. This is a quarter to three-quarter inch rainstorm, maybe up to an inch up around Snow Canyon. Another storm on Wednesday. Boy, that split has been active this year. Mm -hmm. The Wasatch Front, if you live on the bench, an inch. If you're in the valley, mainly rain showers, a little snow early Sunday afternoon, partial clearing, and then Monday and Tuesday with a cold northerly flow back to the mid-30s, and that storm on Wednesday splits and goes around us. El Nino. Yes, here we are. <laughs> Blame it on the El Nino. We will.